them and you see them when you're on the highway. This is Spain in India too. Like we also have cement century. ones only. Highway billboard. Yes. Hi hey guys, it's the loud guys. Today we are going to watch seven outdoor objects I never saw before moving to America. Oh, so like this is a digital world. This is a global world and everything that is in America. It is here in India too. We think that but I think so there are some things that we might have not seen if like if you don't move to america or if you don't like go to america regularly so like i would like to see what are those seven things because this man always brings in something interesting because like he told us about the cold rings how it is different in uk and usa and we also indians could understand that because in india too mountain dew is very different to what it is in america so let's see what is there in this video and in the previous video we got to know that you guys keep your furniture outside if you don't want it and anybody can uh, take that uh, furniture with them to their places if they like it uh, 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 without giving any price but this uh, you know culture is not famous in India uh, like yeah, we Indians you know do sell our furniture into the OLX or we you know give our furniture to the some people give their furniture to the needy one or other you know uh, give their furniture to the worker but yes, we can say that we haven't seen this culture in India. So yes, I'm so much excited to see that what are these seven things which I, you know, you can see only in America. So and definitely this video is going to be very informative and we, got, we are going to know al again a lot of things about America. So yeah, let's watch the video. It will be very interesting to watch. So let's start the video. Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond. And speaking of lost, I'm, start I'm starting to lose my marbles being in quarantine so long. And being here for now, I think it's eight days, I've been giving some thought to some of the things that I miss about the outside world. And, you know, I'm not just talking about sort of fast food joints that are different in both countries, but sort of just really random mundane objects, you know, like a wheelbarrow, for example. I'm not, I'm not suggesting we don't have wheelbarrows in England. That's just, that's an example of a mundane object. And I want to talk about specifically seven of those objects that I hadn't seen until I moved to America. Okay. Ex steel water yep. towers? I'm really longing for those water towers, steel water towers specifically oh, because we do have water towers in Britain but huh. they're concrete and look really brutalist and Same, like high in the 60s. In America, all across the country, they have these kind of water towers that are just, they're in the middle of nowhere usually, and they're made of steel, Ooh. and on the facade of them, they have the name of the town, and it's usually something like Snakesville. And you never see anybody near them or in them, I don't know what they'd be doing in them, perhaps replenishing the water, I, it, I don't know how water towers work. I just know that America has a lot of them, and you see them when you're on the highway. This is Spain in India too, like we also have century. cement ones only. Highway billboards. Yes, highway based billboards. Who would have thought? I certainly wouldn't have until I moved to the United States. And that's because we don't really have them in Britain. We do have them in city centres, but you're not going to find them on the side of the road. You know, because it's distracting, especially when it says something, you know, profound like Jesus has risen. You're <laughs> going to take notice of that and, you know, crash into the car in front of you. And if you don't have insurance, then you are screwed. Oh, Ironically, a lot of the billboards are for insurance, so at least you know who to call. I joked a moment ago about the kinds of things oh. you might see on American highway In Indian highways, billboards. you don't the, see the that is, much. Anyone billboards. can really get an ad but on these are. things. They often say, advertise here if there's nothing on it. And unless you have A, no <laughs> heart, and B, a death wish, you also wouldn't want to crash into the back of one of these. <laughs> Yellow school buses. Yellow, yellow school, school buses. buses. I didn't grow up here as a child, so of course I never yeah, got to ride same. one. Probably never will, unless I become a bus driver or a parent on some sort of school trip. Do they do that? I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, growing up, I did see school buses, yeah. yellow school buses, in films like Superman and Forrest Gump. Those are just examples of films but you know i didn't think they existed in real life this was quite a revelation to me they're everywhere you know it's not just it's not just in indiana where i lived it's also in chicago it's in it's everywhere i mean you we do see these yellow school buses that yellow everywhere. buses are in india but the their shape is different uh, as compared mm. to the American buses. Mm, yes, but in yellow is also the same color that we also follow and all our buses are the same and color. And even it is not looking like a bus, it is looking like a truck only to me. 
uh. everywhere. And I, I recognise that the majority of my audience is American, and this is probably profoundly weird to hear somebody um, talk about how yellow school buses are very widespread in this country, um, but I don't think they're used anywhere else in the world, or at least to, to my knowledge. They're certainly not used in Britain. I used to get to school by jogging. Right. That's not true. I did take the bus, but it was one of those sort of stagecoach buses. Double-decker, so I got to sit on top, um, not at the back with the cool kids. So what colour you know, are these? At the front, actually. And, uh, but they weren't yellow. And I'm, I, as you can see, I like yellow. I'm wearing this in solidarity with the school children. <laughs> I'm not. It's just it's the first thing I found in my wardrobe. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that yellow school buses were the only outdoor object that I learned through the films. Uh, th th that also applies to our next entry. White picket fences. White fences. picket fences, the like of which you see in the film American Beauty and other such suburban-based films. It's, I mean, it reminds oh. me of American suburbia now that I've lived here long enough. But in India, yeah, it is time, not. A, you know, it was just part of the sort of movie set for me uh, to make something look very pristine and idyllic and all yeah. of that. Mm. You'll occasionally see white picket fences here in different parts of Chicago. They're kind of rare, I suppose. But you do tend to see them at houses of families who've really taken care of their garden. Okay, mm. and in Britain, we don't have these kind of fences. A lot of our gardens are sort of framed off by brick walls or sometimes just shrubs and bushes and things that that's not a euphemism. You'll also see in the US mesh fences around gardens as well. They're kind of low down, you know, they're, they're just high enough that dogs can jump over them oh. but never do because they're too stupid. And they seem like they're there to just sort of stop people from breaking in. Especially those fences that have beware of the dog on the side. <laughs> now please, America or anyone watching this, don't take this as a green light to think you can go and burgle people's houses in Britain. They still have security measures and fences too. I'm, I'm underplaying it, but we don't have white picket fences. We also don't have these. Front yard mailboxes. Allow me to clarify, yes. our houses do have, have mailboxes in the United Kingdom, except our mail doesn't go into a mailbox, it goes into a letterbox, and our mail's called the post. I hope that was clear. Mm -hmm. And those letterboxes are usually on the front door, right? So letterman, or postman, that's, letterman is a chat show host. Uh, postman, <laughs> post women, post people, right? They have to go right up to the door and become intimate with your house. Not so in the United States, or at least not always. Uh, you will have those kind of houses where just in front of their garden or yard they'll have a mailbox that's sticking on a yes. kind of pole and there's I've just seen this, this, many this tube, movies. I suppose a metal tube into which you put things and then people have to go out and get it I suppose it, it does it does promote exercise which is needed in these, these quarantine days mm. um, we just don't want to come into contact with the post people or mail people it doesn't matter what you call them they're the same entity well the different people uh, you get the point basically mm. don't touch the post people and if you do, wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap, making sure not to get your water from one of these. Cylindrical <laughs> fire Tell the story. When I was 19 years old, I was a big gamer. I was well into video games. And one of the video games that I played was a little game called Die Hard with a Vengeance. <laughs> and you're just swanning around New York City, I think, probably. And you can crash your car into just stuff, right? And one of those stuff was a fire hydrant, uh -huh. a very American-looking fire hydrant yes. that looks like yes, this. Yes, yes. They're more or less cylindrical, speaking in a pitch that only dogs recognise, and I only describe them as that to differentiate them from fire hydrants in Britain. Fire hydrants in Britain are nowhere near as sexy, and believe me, I didn't think I'd wake up today and say that either. They're just these brutalist-looking square things Ooh. with an H on them, and no, they're not for landing miniature helicopter, nor do they signify a hospital. I... And you know the most weird thing about this is I don't remember even seeing a fire hydrant in India. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we have these or not, but no, I think so. For us, like we have fire god. Fire god will help us save us from fire. That's the only way. I actually don't know what they do. If a fire breaks out in the middle of the road, I, when does that ever happen? I wouldn't know what to do. I don't know how to operate these things, right? Who does? The experts. Whereas American fire hydrants are absolutely gorgeous. They kind of look like they kind of look like elongated fireman helmets. <laughs> Was that on purpose again for the benefit of the dogs? It can't have been, and I'm absolutely certain I wouldn't have made the correlation had I not been stuck in here for eight days. I'm going mad, you know. How how does the outside world look right now? Do people do people still have wind chimes? Do <laughs> do they still, you know, do they still raise these? 
The American flag. The American flag. And I suppose there's a very good reason as to why, you know, I didn't encounter this until I moved to America. And it's because it's America's flag, you know, so that makes total sense right off the bat. I think in Britain, pound for pound, we probably, or at least when I lived there, didn't fly the flag, the British flag, as much as America tends to fly its flag. It's very culturally ingrained to do that, isn't it? My in-laws do it. Everybody does it. Even educated fleas do it. That's, oh. That would be impossible. They don't have the strength to lift up fabric. But they're bloody smart, hence being educated. I don't, I don't know how I got sidetracked there. But yes, the US flag is absolutely everywhere. Again, this is not just something you'll see in films. And I think there's an understanding that Americans are deeply patriotic mm. slash patriotic. How, how do you pronounce it? Let me know in the comments it, below. And it's not just outside of people's houses that you'll see these flags. You'll see them on the back of trucks. You'll see them hanging on sort of company buildings. Don't know why I pronounced it like that. And uh, and just sort of everywhere. I mean, it really is everywhere. India is starting to do this. Absolutely huge American flags. And uh, you can usually see them for about five miles away. That way, at least you know what country you're in. And so that's it. Seven outdoor <laughs> objects I only encountered after moving to America. Wow, what our video it was. Uh, from this video, we got to know a lot of things. Firstly, that you guys have uh, American flag uh, in uh, in your houses. And same, in India, people started doing this. Even in Independence Day, people started, you know, putting, uh, uh, their, uh, putting Indian flag into their houses. Or sometimes we uh, you know put uh, our uh, flag into like for the rest of the year so this thing is also getting very famous in india and we also got to know that you guys have yellow buses so yes in india too uh, like school buses are yellow in color maximum school buses are yellow in color but the thing was uh, the american school buses look like a truck and but the indian school buses look like a bus so that was a difference and we also got to know that you guys love to take care of your you know uh, a garden and and there uh, you guys have that uh, you know fancies wickets uh, outside of your uh, house and literally that thing is so fancy for me so and you also got to know that you guys have that uh, fire uh, extinguisher that was you know very uh, different in you know shape and we Indians don't have this so yeah definitely this video was so interesting and I really enjoy this video. Yes, you would find fire extinguishers in buildings in India, yeah. but you will not find fire uh, fire hydrants like these. And this is, I think, so very specific to America only. And because in Britain they said they only have the small things, in India you don't even find those small things too. It is just uh, like you can just pray to God or you can just call the fire guys and they can just come firemen and they will help you out because we have never seen fire hydrant. And yes, I also remember playing in games and then uh, just running over these even gta and all these games running over these fire hydrants and the, then this water just sprays out of it so it, it is very exciting but i've never seen any of these work how these actually work and how do you guys actually like make sure th i think so these are ma mainly used by the firemen only i don't think so normal people can yeah. use it also the mailbox thing is very very interesting and very useful because in india we don't even have those letter boxes we have just the postman comes to our home and they just deliver it to in our hand only and there are some buildings where you can give it down to the watchman or you can give it uh, keep it at the bottom only but yes there is nothing like a letter box or something where you can keep it and you can save them so this is something very specific to america and these are very good things and things so we should adapt them so what do you guys think about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.